homes sold for in November here in the villages. Well, in this episode today, I'm going to review homes that sold in the month of November. We're going to discuss the list price, the sell price, and how long they were actually on the market before it went to closing. So let's go take a look. Subscribe to my email newsletter list if you're not already a subscriber. Each week I put out an episode called The Good, The Not So Bad, and The Ugly. This is an undisclosed episode um, so you can't find it on YouTube unless you are on my email newsletter list and I go through MLS listings and I give you my honest opinion on what you, I think from photos some of the homes I may have toured uh, some I have not I just go by the photos and the information provided if I have additional information of course I pass that on but there are not live videos from the home and you can only get that video if you subscribe to my email newsletter which you can do here it's on my website all right so let's go over what home sold for in november here in the villages florida all right so i'm going to film some of this here in my little office space because i want to tell you my house is absolutely upside down uh they're coming to clean my carpets today uh because i'm getting all new furniture and i am making an episode all about buying furniture here in the villages but um i really want to get into what sold in November. Um, and I'm gonna go to the computer in a little bit, but I just want to do a little live. Um, sometimes people don't always like the computer thing, but it's uh, part of what I have to do. So anyway, um, in November of 2022, we had a total of 87 homes um, sell between 179.9 and 1.3 million. Um, the average days on the market were 32. Of the 87 homes that sold, 27 were financed conventional, three were VA loans, and 57 were cash. So it's, you know, obviously more cash than, um, than financing. So, you know, I know I have a lot of uh, buyers and sellers that talk about the market changing because the interest rate um, is going up, but I'm not so sure it's going to really affect here. Oh, here. Let's tell. I spilled my coffee. Oh, here. Let me show you. Woo! You can see my... That is... Oh, you see a little box there? That's my microphone. That keeps everything from echoing, but this is part of my new merchandise. Let me get it on Redbubble. I have some of the mugs on my website. Um... But interesting stuff. I'm doing a lot about pickleball, but some are things that resonate with me. So anyway, all right. Financing, mostly cash. It's still not really affecting the market. I am seeing homes come on the market a little bit more reasonably priced. And some homes are dropping and some are not. It all depends on the seller, what their objective is, if they need to get out. You know, so I would just say, if you're looking to purchase, um, look twenty five, thirty thousand dollars over what you want to spend because you might be surprised at what you're able to make a deal on. All right, so back to what sold north of four sixty six, we had forty three homes sell between the sixes, and that would be between four sixty six and four sixty six a. We had twenty eight. And in the Brownwood area, that's 466, 8, and 44. We had 11. South of 44, 3. Now, remember, that's MLS listings only. I don't do not have data from what the villages sell. Um, so this is MLS only. The average list price was about 375. The average sell price was about 330,000. And just from the series of videos that I did on what your money will buy at 300, 400, 500 and up, um, the episode that performed the best was the one that was um, 400,000. So what I'm obviously that tells me that is really where our sweet spot is here is that $400,000 mark. Um, I have clients right now looking over 800 and the homes are, are just sitting on the market, but they always have. That's not anything really unusual. Uh, people aren't jumping over themselves to buy a million dollar home. 
so they're sitting a little bit longer. But again, I would tell everyone, negotiate. It can happen. It has happened. Okay, and now I have um, original price versus sole price. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to get this. I'm doing this on my phone. So if you can see the graph. So this is from, I should have printed one from the other side, January to, well, I have December in there. I did this, uh, when did I print? I printed this off, oh, on the 18th. So it's not really all that accurate, but um, the blue line represents the median sell price, and that's kind of almost like an average, but it's in the middle. And oh, wait here, <laughs> you gotta get the, uh... there we go. I want this in the background. This is what it should be like here. It's not right now. Uh, anyway, the original price versus the sell price. Um, in December, for the first 18 days, there was the average price of the home sold. So the green line is the price that it sold or it listed for. Um, the original price and the blue line is the sell price. This phone is getting heavy now, believe it or not. So in December... The average list price was over 400, probably about 425, let's call it. And the sell price was 375. Comparatively speaking, November, again, I said the average price, what they said it was. The average list price is about 375. This is here, 375, the list price and the sell price, about 330. All right, so now we're gonna go to the computer and I'm gonna actually show you some of the homes that sold. So you kind of have an idea of what to expect maybe moving into December. But we'll look at a couple, I'm gonna pick out a couple of homes just so you can see if they needed work, they didn't need work because everything, every home, I can't stress this enough, is case by case basis of what you're going to find. Um, if you are interested in working with me, forget. I put my name and number throughout the video. And don't forget to get a copy of my book. It talks all about the villages and the buying and selling process here. So let's, all right, I'm now really gonna date myself. Do you remember Warner Wolf? I guess you had to be up north. He was a sports reporter for ABC and he would say, let's go to the videotape. So that's where we're going. All right, so I'm just going to go through a couple of homes that sold uh, just to show you what what is moving, what the condition is, and prices, length on the market. All right, so first one I want to show you is this one here, 730 Dumas. I, um, I actually was in this home. I'm looking at it for some clients. This went quickly. It was on the market a day. It was priced properly. It was a nice home. It so here is the list price two fifty seven nine. It went for two fifty five, and this was cash. I'm just gonna go back one and look at it. I think it was cash. Uh, yes, cash. So just so you can see, this was. Um, North of 466, close to Spanish Springs, cute little neighborhood. But like I said, the home was very well maintained, had a lot of yard. I, you know, it needed a couple of little things, but um, overall, I was um, impressed with the value. At 257, this is two bed, two bath. This is really a good deal. Because what I'm seeing anywhere, they need major updates. Now, again, this needs, this is move in ready. I mean, you could actually move in here or start to rent it. You might want to update it a little bit, but even though it's a little outdated, it was still in good condition. And for the price, it was a good buy. Now, this is a good buy for somebody to buy it, fix it up a little bit and sell it. An investor still, this is probably a little too high. So there we go. We don't have to go through the whole thing because it's sold. But 257.9, it went 2,000. 
below asking price. Um, actually, I'm looking actually for ones also that I was um, sold. All right, so now here, let's look at 2375 Youngman Loop. This hit the market and went immediately, and it went for over asking price. And this was, um, excuse me, obviously it was in November. It sold um, November 22nd. This is in St. John's, which is south of 44 in the new section. Well, it's between Brownwood and Warm Springs. Hmm. Brand new home. This was six months old. Oh, decorated nicely. Yeah, cool. So on the market, a day, not even a day. This, I'm going to venture, let's see if this is an inter-office sale. Yeah, this was a sell list. The listing agent also sold it. So, you know, and that's common. We have buyers who are looking and, um, you know, once the listing hits, it's there. So anyway, um, 4000 over asking price. Not a bad deal, and that's out the 44. And this one also, pretty I think this one went for cash, so they closed on that quickly. All right, so um, this one uh, on Bougainvillea, 5534 Bougainvillea, these this was my buyer. Um, they had watched, been watching the area they were moving from California, and this went for full asking price. It was on the market. It wasn't on the market long, four days. And this was a beautiful home. It, it's um, in Fenny. It came with most of the furniture. Some of the furnishings did not stay, but I really like this home. I think this was a very good buy at 357. Um, it was still only two bedroom, but um, nice yard. I really like this. My buyers were extremely happy. They were only just placed for, I think, two or three weeks until we were ready to close. Nice yard. Yeah, so they're happy. So this went at full price, and this was also cash um, at $357,000. All right, so now... Let's take, that was Bougainvillea. I want to find, let's look here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to do Klein first because now this one was on the market 114 days. And it went through several price reductions. Started out at 458000 and it finally sold at um, four twenty. So this one is a Virginia Trace. So this is up near uh, Sumter Landing. Well, I'll say this because it's sold now. Probably at the price it went out at, it was a little high. In my opinion. I, just, I like the sinks. I had sink like that in my house in Pennsylvania, but it was blue. Again, I'm not going to go through the whole listing here, but it listed, it went for actual, actually, ugh. <laughs> I've had my amount of coffee today. Um, it went for full price. After 103 days, again, it started out, which was probably, in my opinion, whoa, hey, um, at 450 was for what's inside of it was a little high. So 420, three bed, two bath, where it's located, big yard, block and stucco. Not bad. All right, so here is another one in that. And I'm going to hover around this mark because this seems to be where most people are looking. 
um, it's fun to look at the stuff over 700 and 800 and a million, but it seems most people are in this sweet spot here. So, um, all right. So this one went on the market in September and it listed, the list price was 412. I'm just double checking that. And it finally closed two months later. This was turnkey at full price. Oh, wait a minute, one more time. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, and that was cash. Okay. So, this is an Ashland. Just take a look at this. That yard looks great. So, this, uh, this home happens to, and this model is very, very common up north. Um, this model happens to be, um, where there's a courtyard behind it. So you actually have some more privacy in your backyard. Nice kitchen, nice house. Very nice home. All right. So that was on the market three days and it went for full asking price. So you see in the homes are looking good and they're priced well, they're still moving. The interest rate is not affecting because you can see, um, again, most of the homes that sold here were for um, cash. All right, so this one was on the market 120 days, and I'm actually going to produce a video um, that's devoted to homes that have been on the market over 100 days. Not solds, but active. So you can take a look and see what's out there. I think those are your great opportunities. Um, this is 1941 Cordero, two car and a car garage. Now this has that old style model where the kitchen and, and the um, eating area are a whole separate section. They've added cabinets here. They made a bigger separate dining room. Not my style home. I would never, well, I would never buy this big a home, but look at that. They did this really nicely. It's got um, the water view. That carpet's terrible. But they have complete privacy in the backyard, which is nice. And you pay for that here. But I think the roof was new or 2017. And they did some updates. Nice shower. Um it listed for five forty, and it finally sold here for five hundred and thirty thousand. My phone is blowing up. Um, and it has the view of the lake. Here, I'll just show you. There you go. So definite privacy in the backyard. Very nice. This one um, built in nineteen ninety eight. Three bed, two bath, 2,000 square feet. So that price per square foot is nice. This was a nice home. Uh, congratulations to whomever purchased it. And then let's go, let's find one. Last one with the pool. Hold on a second. All right. So this started out at $819,000 and it sold for seven seventy. So in this market, I'm telling you, if you find something you like within reason, <laughs> look at it and make an offer. Um, because you just don't know. That's a nice pool, private backyard. Uh, that's a good buy for seven seventy. I know um, you know, most places you can't find that actually too bad. I have people <laughs> looking for a house. They probably would have liked that one. I'm not into a tub, but that's me. Double door entry. That's, you know, we don't find that too, too often. So, you know, nice looking home. 819 went down to 770. That's an awesome buy. And that one, again, that was a San Bernardino over here. That went for cash. So, 
All right, everyone, I'm going to conclude this episode. I hope you enjoyed this, what sold in November. I will do this every month. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you.